everybody, this is Praxis, and today was a really busy day over at the job site, but I'm not shooting the video at the job site because it was so busy, in fact, that I forgot to shoot a video today. I'm just going to let you know what we did, and then I want to uh, kind of show you what's going on down here at the temporary house that we're at, because what's going on right here relates to what's going on over there. Uh, today, uh, my dad was on site. He was helping me get up roof rafters. I'm going to show you tomorrow. We have roof rafters on the greenhouse that are starting to go up. I was mo uh, About half of my day was spent uh, redoing some of those electrical sockets that are holding lights up in the ceiling. Uh, if you recall, there was an issue where while for a wall sconce you can use a regular electrical box like you might use for a uh, re receptacle or a light switch, for anything that uh, is hanging from the ceiling that could potentially have a ceiling fan and they have a really broad definition of what could potentially have a ceiling fan you need a more robust box to accept a ceiling fan even though we're just putting uh, light sockets up there you need to use uh, you know the heavy duty boxes so I spent uh, half of my day today just doing those but it's done it was irritating but it's done uh, what I want to talk about what's going on here is this is my pantry where we got all sorts of stuff you know the important stuff like you know wine and things and then less important things like rice and oats uh th this is what we've been kind of using uh temporarily uh while we've been here at this uh temporary house here's some things that i got specifically for covid i'm not a gatorade fan but we got this in case anyone gets sick get ele electrolytes back into their system this is actually something i should mention this is uh turkey jerky uh, you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm a vegetarian, but with all of my injuries, I was really trying to do anything I could to up my protein content. Uh, one thing I added was protein powder uh, that I've been ordering. This, this is an organic uh, vegetarian protein powder. Uh, but I also just started doing some turkey uh, because it was... You guys who, who know, like, kind of my feeling about vegetarianism, that, you know, if it's possible to avoid killing animals, I think that's a good thing to do. If it's possible to avoid killing people, same kind of deal. Uh, but in a survival situation, you know, you have to kind of, you know, figure out, you know, the balance. I'm not advocating killing people. But, uh, you know, it was starting to feel like a bit of a survival situation with me. I was getting so many injuries uh, from working so much at the build site that... Uh, it was becoming a problem, uh, so I added all sorts of extra protein. It helped. Uh, you know, I'm going to be uh, cutting down on this stuff once I am cutting down on the amount of injurious work that I'm doing. Anyway, what's going on here is you can see this is the pantry. This is what we've been using. But what we have over here is all the new stuff that's been coming in. Um, we're not really organizing the stuff very much. These are just boxes of things that have been coming in with the fall coming. We want to be ready for, you know, the next wave of COVID. COVID has killed, uh, at this point, about a quarter of a million Americans uh, as compared to, like, maybe 60,000 Americans that, you know, normally get killed by the flu. Uh, and that is during a time when you wouldn't normally have a lot of deaths from uh, uh, pneumonia-like symptoms and things because, uh, you know, it was summertime and springtime. So I think things are going to be rough in the fall, rough in the winter. So we're getting ready for that and stocking up on all sorts of foods and things like that. But we're not really bothering to organize a lot of it because, you know, the plan is we're not going to be here. So we're just kind of leaving stuff. It's accumulating. It's building. I think within the next two months, we're going to be over at the other place. So we're just kind of, you know, accumulating things in piles here. We also have empty boxes. These are just empty boxes ready to get us moving out but uh you know the, the, like i said there's a lot of infrastructure that's happening here that is allowing uh, you know that we're planning to get us into the other place by the way behind you is our hot water system and this right here well actually i can touch it totally because we had the thing off this heat exchanger that heats our domestic hot water has been broken right there or i think it's the pump perhaps uh we just haven't bothered to fix it and uh you know we'll fix that before we leave and we sell the place so uh, that's where things are here. Tomorrow we're going to be back on site. We're re really ripping through stuff. Like I said, I think it's going to be maybe, you know, two months. I think we're going to be in there. And all this stuff isn't going to get stocked on the pantry shelves here. It's going to be over there. That's it. Thanks for watching.